what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about chucky season two in this video here today just talking about the chucky tv series in general because the official first teaser for the upcoming second season that's coming out this october was released today not today but a couple of hours ago on saturday and this was released at san diego comic-con and from what i see this looks like a very promising season that's coming this fall season can't wait to return to this universe can't wait to see what's going on with lexi devin and jake and now with this first bit of footage from the teaser it looks like we have an idea of what the storyline is going to be dealing with going into chucky season two as far as like the locations anyway lexi devin and jake from the footage that was shown in this teaser looks like they all somehow end up at a boarding school where it's being ran or at least has we get to see how devin saw was back devin saw apparently will have a big role at this boarding school they all attend and he's going to be someone i guess who's going to be very prevalent this season uh as it looks like he was a priest or something i guess and from what i can see it looks like lexi herself is going to be struggling with some substance abuse and looks like caroline also gets a visit from another chucky doll at, at her house lexi's little sister caroline that being and it also looks like there was a moment in the teaser where the bridal doll from bride of chucky was in caroline's bed so it begs me the question of is tiffany preparing her own army in response to chucky's army because we know that this season will be revolving around chucky trying to take out those who are responsible for foiling his plans in season one now we also did get a glimpse of andy barkley and what i can only assume is the follow-up aftermath of the trip with the tiffany doll in the back of the van holding up the gun with all those chucky dolls in it and it looks like there's a bunch of chucky chucky dolls on top of the van at some point that he's driving he puts out this bit of dialogue that says this is for kyle so i'm thinking are they really going to commit to killing kyle if they do i will be happy the only reason I'll be happy is because, again, it's not making that whole sequence irrelevant. But I also want to throw this out there. More than likely, it's probably just a way to throw you off. You're going to have to wait and actually now see season two for the full, complete context to see if Kyle is alive. I think Kyle will end up being alive. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I would just prefer somebody died from that fire. And honestly, at this stage, with this being about the new group of characters, Lexi, Devin and Jake, it should be Kyle. But if they don't do that, then they just don't do that. But that bit of dialogue I've already seen people talk about where he's like, this is for Kyle. Andy's got this bit of dialogue like this is for kyle that makes people think that oh kyle must be dead well honestly if anything they just kind of just wanted you to talk about it a bit more throw that question mark back in it we know she's on set christine at least that being so she's shooting something there as kyle or she's just there on set for whatever reason but honestly she has scenes in the upcoming season i would imagine back in the role as kyle so i would be i would be guessing that she actually did survive and she will return in some capacity later on in the season how we end up finding that out i don't know but again Again, if she's dead, it still, I guess, leaves the question of whose glove was that behind the tree watching those three at the end of season one. Um, we also got to see Chucky basically terrorizing, a, I guess, a few people who work at work on the staff at this religious boarding school. It looks to be some type of tension between Devin and Jake over a sit over the Chucky situation. Uh, it looks like they might be in a, in a scenario where no one believes them in the town of Hackensack because there there is a moment where they're being questioned by somebody asking them what actually happened to Chucky and cameras are rolling. It looks like they're being interviewed. No, nobody might be believing the story they're telling. So they're in the, they're in Andy's situation from when he was a kid the situation they were trying to avoid in season one that's just what i'm predicting going off of the footage again that we were shown during this uh teaser that was released we got to see glimpses or glimpse at glenn and glinda we didn't get to see them we saw lachlan watson uh in the roles it looks like as both so hopefully there's something very unique that goes on with these two characters now that they're back hopefully they have integral roles in the narrative this time around and when i say integral i just mean like something that gives them something to do they're not just back here for nostalgia purposes because people kept clamoring for them to be in the show or for them to return hopefully both of them have something to do uh we see them i guess pulling up in a vehicle i'm assuming this was them pulling up i could be mistaken in a vehicle with a license plate that said they them could be wrong um we also saw tiffany 
doing what was we saw her interacting with nika i think at one point this was also something that's very interesting was nika running in this teaser it looked like nika was running for a brief second in this teaser so i'm curious if that actually does mean that there was something going on at the end of the at the end of the first season where nika was just hallucinating and she actually does have use of her legs and there's some type of uh drug that she's being given to make her think otherwise that's manipulating her own reality we'll see where that goes but honestly I, I know people would prefer that anyway versus what we saw at the end of season one where she didn't have any limbs. Uh, I know a lot of us thought that was very cruel, <laughs> thought that was a little bit too far. It's like you basically have rendered her into nothing. She's a nothing character now. She's been through so much since Curse of Chucky. Now, now she has no limbs. And, and I know I saw people clamoring like, at this point. Why don't you just kill her? But there's Don Mancini said there's something else in store for Nika. I really, truly think and going off of some other dialogue. I think Nika is in the tra teaser trailer saying she wants Tiffany to get what's coming to her while Tiffany is simultaneously or being shown like cutting someone's throat, slitting someone's throat while this dialogue is being said. So Nika's got some type of revenge arc that's going to happen this time around going into season two. Can't wait to see that. I'm curious if she'll end up teaming up with Chucky in some capacity, but I can swear I saw her running in the teaser. I can't be the only one that saw that. She was running in this teaser. Uh, we got to see the last shot was probably the most hilarious chucky gives a nun a heart attack i guess that might be a callback to child's play three uh and then he says hi i'm chucky wanna pray and then he's like the side of me enough is the side of me is scary enough to give you a heart attack and then he thanks thanks the nun as she's dying on on the ground uh one of the one of the more comedic aspects of the teaser trailer so i liked it i thought it was a pretty good teaser trailer all in all uh it didn't sh i wouldn't say it showed a lot as much as it did tease a lot of things to get you hyped up for what's to come later this october when season two debuts on the usa sci-fi network i can't wait to see that season you'll have all the weekly recaps on here from me as well if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i have links to all my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video